Filipino with COVID cases surging in Manila. The Philippines has ordered more than 20 million people to be vaccinated. For the last two years, the COVID-19 pandemic has redefined and reshaped the education system in our country. School closures affects many students and with not much choice, will be finishing virtually. As the pandemic continues, it keeps them away from ordinary things such as campus life, graduation, and voluble on-hand experiences Rough times and ongoing struggles to make ends meet became the challenge of attaining the education they have aspired for. Yet education cannot be compromised. Knowledge is a premise of progress in the society and every family. It holds the key to a better future. And now, you have reached the finish line. With unfailing hope, you have made it. Take courage. Seize every opportunity. Because you are great. Western College Facebook page on its virtual graduation ceremony. The Kapalong Western College 76 Commencement Exercises with the theme, Pursuing Quality Education with Hope and Courage Towards Quality Life. Let us put ourselves in the presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we offer you thanks as we gather here today to commemorate the journey of the graduating batch of 2020 to 2021. Thank you for the spirit of wisdom which empowered our hard work and discipline to finish our studies. As we continue with this virtual commencement exercises, we stay connected in prayer for gratitude for the many blessings that have made this moment come true. In gratitude, we pray for our parents, our families, 
and to those who tirelessly supported, sacrificed, and worked to see us to this hopeful moment. Almighty loving Father, we pray for our professors and administrators in Kabalong Western College who have challenged, thought, and molded us to be better individual along this academic journey. Despite the pandemic, we are able to attend and finish online classes. We pray for our fellow graduates whom we have made countless memories. These memories have taught us friendship, sharing, and above all, camaraderie. Dear God, we face different challenges during this time of uncertainty, but we are able to conquer it with your guidance. Give us patience, courage, and strength as we unfold the next chapter of our lives. May this celebration be a reflection of the blessings that we find in knowing and honoring you. We are glad for this day that you have made. This we all ask in your most holy name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiging Diyos ang sinahanan Alam ng puso sa dikit mo'y buhay Upang hinihinang Tuyang ka ng magiging Sa manlulupi Di ka pasisigil Sa nagatak tutok sa simoy at sa langit Graduation Day 
is the most awaited and momentous day in the life of the graduating students. It is the day of reckoning of what you have done when you were in school, not just simply to learn, but most importantly, to develop and enhance your hidden talents and skills as you move up to the next level of your studies until you see yourselves in this virtual graduation rites. The imminent threat of COVID-19 pandemic has not stopped you from going to school online. Through flexible, blended learning, utilizing Zoom online instructions, and modular mode of learning prepared by your diligent mentors. I would like to believe that the efforts and time spent by your mentors to make you learn in this new normal trend in our educational system were not in vain because your presence in this virtual graduation rights attest to the fact that you indeed hardened and accomplish the fast track requirements of your mentors. And now your college dean is proud to address you batch 2021 of this prestigious educational institution, the Cabalum Western College, your beloved alma mater. Every year, hundreds and thousands of graduates are produced by the different schools, colleges, and universities in all courses in our country. It cannot be denied then that many of these graduates, notwithstanding the course he or she finished, have found their means of livelihood after graduation. Nevertheless, others may have unluckily ended up standbys, domestic helpers abroad, misplaced and misfit in their chosen courses, part-timers, and online job among others. This scenario only shows that employment is considered one of the crucial burdens other than the corruption in our government the Filipino people is facing squarely today. Their graduates, let not this ugly reality amidst COVID-19 pandemic hinder your aspiration in your journey to life. Arm yourselves with mighty courage to pursue such aspiration because there still remains deep in your hearts and in your mind the hope that this would come to pass. And from there on, you will find your best place under the sun. Congratulations. God bless graduates of 2021. To God be the glory. And for today's momentous moment, let's hear a message from our commencement guest speaker, a fellow Kabalumian, to be introduced by our college dean. Reverend Father Jesus C. Cabalom, President and Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Officers and Members of the Board of Trustees of Cabalo Western College, Department Heads, Faculty and Staff, Parents, Stakeholders and Friends, Good afternoon. On this 76 virtual commencement exercises of Cabalo Western College, I am tasked to introduce to you, dear graduates, our guest speaker, the alumnus of this college, who will not only share with us his success story, but also his inspiring words to live by in your journey to life. This gentleman graduated valedictorian in his elementary education at Patong Patong Elementary School in Haniwai, Iloilo, and his secondary education in Haniwai Polytechnic College, where he belonged to Star Section class. He pursued his tertiary education 
at Kabalong Western College where he finished his Bachelor of Science in Computer Science in 2001. During his college days, he was the president of Computer Science Organization from 1998 to 1999. He was the president of Kabalong Western College Senior Council Batch 2001. He was a feature editor of Kabalom Western College school paper, The Stab Gazette, and an associate editor of the Kabalomians. Among his achievements after having left the portals of his alma mater, Kabalom Western College, are as follows Affiliations and accreditations, accredited speaker and trainer. Leaders Link Incorporated, Zibu, Accredited Mentor, Scope, International Philippines, Training, Coaching, Mentoring, Expertise, Project Monitoring and Evaluation, Youth Leadership and Skills Development, Values Formation, Customer Service Excellence, market research and product development, and financial literacy. His professional trainings are both local and international. As to company position held, he was an account officer from 2003 to 2004, a branch manager from 2004 to 2009, an area manager for operation assigned in Mindanao from 2009 to 2010. He was the head corporate social responsibility from 2000 to 2018. At present, Mr. Valentino Lozero is the head of strategic research, communications of Life Bank Incorporated here in Iloilo City. Dear graduates, let us give Mr. Valentino Lozero a warm welcome. Thank you very much. To our dear alma mater president, Reverend Father Jesus Caballo, members of the Board of Trustees, the Dean and Department Heads, the faculty and administrative personnel, and to everyone who makes these commencement exercises possible, a pleasant day and a warm congratulations to all of you. And of course, my special greetings goes out to the stars of this event, the graduates and their parents. My warmest congratulations may not feel the happiness in your heart, but my special prayer goes to you today. Graduation is not an end, but another beginning. It is exactly two decades now from the last time that I used and mentioned this powerful statement that every graduate and commencement speaker wants to hear and inspire respectively. That's when I delivered my graduation address here at our alma mater in 2001 as the president of the Seniors Council. It's a sweet and daring statement for the graduates who are looking forward for their graduation day, a day of victory in students' life. And now, I am back in my alma mater, loud and proud to say to you graduates, that indeed, graduation is not the end, yet another beginning. For every graduate, graduation experience has been always different in its own way. However, one thing a handful of 2021 graduates can agree on is being the COVID class and should be worn like a badge of honor. Our experiences, including wearing face masks, social distancing, a mix of virtual and in-person classes, cancellation of some rite of passage events, or being separated from classmates, have come full circle 
from how a traditional graduate should be. It feels like there's something very symbolic about starting your year in the middle of the pandemic and graduating when everyone is getting vaccinated. And finally, being able to shed the masks without increasing exposure. It almost feels like a final trial before going out into the real world with your diploma. If there's anything that pandemic has made you want to pursue the next chapter of your life even more, it's not, it's not to let the pandemic affect you, your present and your future. Continue with your dreams and adjust to the new normal to better yourself for the future. Graduating during this time is very bittersweet. It's hard to think of all the things you unknowingly have to do for the last time that you should be. However, graduating during a such time makes you more grateful and for the things that you have been able to accomplish. Back in 2001, just like you, I am one of the hundreds of graduates that obtains my bachelor's degree in computer science from this institution. The foundation that I got, the academic preparation, the emotional and spiritual strengthening, and social exposure, and the encouragement of our mentors had been my weapon in my life's battle. In my professional life, I was given countless training and exposures here and abroad, education support while working, and received multiple promotions. In a way, I consider all of these as my life achievements, but most importantly, these are the rewards for my parents. I achieve all of this because I put my heart on it. And on top of it all, it's all because of the strong foundation that I got from this institution. Maybe just like a common millennial term today, maybe anyone listening to me can say, wow, sana all. Yes, all of you can have it all too. Sana all is inclusive, not exclusive. And everyone can do it. Anyone can claim it. Do not allow yourself to, to be wired sa pa-fall, pa-asa, pinagtagpo pero di tinadhana, pa-ubaya at kung ano-ano pa. Create your own journey, your own brand, and most importantly, your own unique life story. Today, we celebrate your commencement exercises with the theme, Pursuing Quality Education with the hope and courage towards quality life. As you culminate your years spent, and as you enter the next chapter of your life, let me share to you these life tips that I myself is living for from the day that I was molded from this institution. First, always believe that you will prevail. Yes, always believe that you will prevail. You have a very good foundation from this institution and always claim in your heart and mind that whatever this beautiful life should bring, you will prevail, graduates. You have the capacity to do it as you have been molded with the virtue of scholarship, character, and service. Face life with the heart of a true and proud Kabalunians. Second, always be hopeful. Yes, always be hopeful. You can create a world even better, even though you don't know really how. It's a weird, it's a weird thing, right? All you need is to open your heart and mind and find what you love. Always believe that all is possible. All that is possible is possible for you. Life isn't always a straight path. There are lots of challenges, but you can fix every curve with the power of belief and determination. Thirdly, have a deep passion. 
have a deep passion. Always take a challenge that excites you, not what your parents or others want you to do. Express the highest and truest expression of yourself, of what you love, of what you wanted to be, and most importantly, of what you can do. Don't be afraid to fail. Instead, be brave to face life's failure. Fuel your passion with love and inspiration. Having in mind that what you will become will become part of your legacy. And fourth, graduates, you must have a vision in life. Yes, you must have a vision in life. As early as now, even though you don't know your plan, you need to have a direction that you need to choose to. You always have to be at the driver's seat of your life, not a passenger of your dream. Expand your thinking that even skies cannot set its limit. Things happen in the magic of visions, and the stars will align for you in the right time. When you fall back, stand and fall forward. Nothing in life is worthwhile than taking the failed vision and face the risk again. And the last and certainly one of the most important tip, have a servicing heart. Always do the right thing. Go beyond with excellence and create your own brand. Remember, when you are excellent, you are unforgettable. However, having a servicing heart lies an undying support. Be generous and let not your ears but your heart listen. In totality, whatever you want to be, you don't have to do it solo, graduates. You need help, young people. You need someone's time, someone's talent, effort, prayers, and opportunities to do it. You need to do something that you never did. Celebrating this year's commencement exercises is not a game of chance. Again, it's not a game of chance. It's an evidence of success and failures, of struggles and pains. And here we are, standing strong and surviving with vibrant colors. <clears throat> That's the commitment that Kabalong Western College contributes all this time. And we, Kabalungan should always be proud of that noble legacy that our institution has painted and continue to paint. To you graduates, savor the moment of your hard work and the greener future that lies ahead. Life isn't hard. I tell you, life isn't hard. It's just easy as one, two, three. Only if we have to put the right key. To the parents, a high-spirited salute to all of you, that despite of all the challenges that you went through, you never gave up to your child's dream. Your true and unconditional love for your children is towering, indeed. To our alma mater, the Kabalong Western College, another legacy has been painted. The legacy that has been continued through decades, built and inspired with a virtue of scholarship, character, and service. To our Almighty Father, the giver of all, thank you for giving these graduates, their parents, and the institution for your overwhelming love, protection, and wisdom. May you continue to send your holy thousands of angels to guide in the next chapter of their life's journey. This has been your friend and fellow Kabalumians, Valentino P. Lucero, greeting everyone a warm congratulations and mabuhay. I am a Kabalumian and forever be proud, Kabalumian. Thank you.
Let's also hear a message from our school president, Reverend Father Jesus Caballo. Greetings! This time has proven to be challenging to the academic community. The pandemic had brought an imaginable division from our daily routines. These unprecedented events has tested the resilience, the patience, the flexibility of both our faculty and students. Kabalum Western College would like to take this opportunity to express her gratitude and acknowledge the efforts of all the stakeholders of the college. Each helping hand you have extended is a big part of the success of the school and most especially of our students. My deepest appreciation goes to our department heads and administrative staff who have spared all the time and effort available to manage the different aspects of the academic operations. More so, I have seen the hard work of our faculty members as well. I want to thank you for your precious time and effort for your creativity making Zoom your classrooms or however means to bridge the lesson to our students. Thank you for taking time out to assist them in coping with this situation in whatever way you can. To our graduates, thank you for your commitment to continue your learning and in giving your very best in this unexpected, difficult transition from face-to-face -to, -face to fully virtual instruction. Thank you for staying with us and for finishing under these conditions. You're a beacon of hope to your younger brothers and sisters here at Kabalom Western College. We would also like to express our heartfelt gratitude to our dear parents and guardians for entrusting us, your children. With your support and belief, we are inspired to continue with our mission to extend quality education even during this pandemic. We will continue to stand by our commitment to help carve your children's future. Kabalum Western College, I would like to thank this year's commencement speaker, our very own Mr. Valentino Lucero. Thank you for raising the Kabalumian flag high in your chosen profession. You are surely worthy to be emulated by our young Kabalumian graduates. This proves that Kabalum graduates can indeed conquer the world. Congratulations to all of you, our dear graduates. Stay well, keep safe. I wish you all the best and I pray for your success in every endeavor that you will pursue. Your success is our honor and pride. God bless you. If I can pat your back and shake your hands, I will surely do so. Thank you very much. Thank you, our dearest school president, Reverend Father Jesus Caballo. Let's take a step forward to the next part of the ceremony, the reading of resolution to be read by Ms. Nestor Santacera, College Registrar. Kabalum Western College Incorporated, Dr. Fermin Karam, Senior Avenue, Iliilu City. 
excerpts from the minutes of the regular meeting of the Board of Justice of Kabalum Western College, Incorporated, held at the office of the Chairman of the Board last Friday, May 21, 2021, at 10 o'clock in the morning, with the following. Present, Reverend Father Jesus C. Kabalum, Johnny C. Kabalum, Dr. Margaret Jane C. Galilea, John Dinley T. Kabalum, Absent, George C. Cabalum. Resolution number 1, Series of 2021. Approving as candidates for moving up to first-year college, the names of the students appearing in the list submitted by the principal numbering more or less 19. And motion of Reverend Father Jesus C. Cabalum and properly seconded. Be it resolved, as it is hereby resolved by the Board of Trustees of Cabalum Western College, Incorporated, to approve, and this is hereby approved as candidates for moving up to first year college in their respective tracks enumerated therein. The names of students appearing in the list submitted by the principal for the school year 2020 2021. The records have been attested and are certified to be complete and in order, numbering more or less 19 students distributed as follows. Academic Track, General Academic Strand, 8. Accountancy Business Management, 4. Home Economics, 7. Total, 19. Unanimously approved. I hereby certify to the correctness of the foregoing resolution. Signed, Dr. Margaret Jane C. Galilea, Secretary. Attested, Reverend Father Jesus C. Cabalum, Chairman of the Board. Kabalum Western College Incorporated, Dr. Fermin Karam, Senior Avenue, Iloilo City. Excerpts from the minutes of the regular meeting of the Board of Trustees of Kabalum Western College Incorporated, held at the office of the Chairman of the Board last Friday, May 21, 2021, at 10 o'clock in the morning with the following. Present, Reverend Father Jesus C. Kabalum, Johnny C. Kabalum, Dr. Margaret Jane C. Galilea. John Dinley T. Cabalum. Absent, George C. Cabalum. Resolution number two, series of 2021. Approving as candidates for graduating, the names of the students appearing in the list submitted by the registrar, numbering more or less 22. And motion of Reverend Father Jesus C. Cabalum and properly seconded. Be it resolved, as it is hereby resolved by the Board of Justice of Cabalum Western College, Incorporated to approve, as it is hereby approved, as candidates for graduation in their respective courses enumerated therein. The names of students appearing in the list submitted by the registrar for the academic year 2020-2021, the records having been attested and or certified to be complete and in order, numbering more or less 22 students distributed as follows. Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Major in Marketing Management, 8. Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Major in Financial Management, 4. Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, 1. Bachelor of Science in Office Administration, 2. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, 1. Associate in Computer Office Administration, 4. Two-year computer technician, two, total, 22. Unanimously approved. I hereby certify to the correctness of the foregoing resolution. Signed, Dr. Margaret Jane C. Galilea, Secretary. Attested, Reverend Father Jesus C. Cabalum, Chairman of the Board. Cabalum Western College, Incorporated, Dr. Fermin Karam, Senior Avenue, Iloilo City. Excerpts from the minutes of the regular meeting of the Board of Justice of Cabalum Western College, Incorporated, held at the office of the Chairman of the Board last Friday, May 21, 2021, at 10 o'clock in the morning with the following. Present, Reverend Father Jesus C. Cabalum, Johnny C. Cabalum, Dr. Margaret Jane C. Galilea, Jean Linley T. Cabalum, Absent, George C. Cabalum. Resolution number three, series of 2021, granting the awards at the end of the academic year to deserving students, finding the recommendation of the registrar 
and principle which is supported by the record submitted to be in conformity with the criteria prescribed for the award to deserving students at the end of the school year. Be it resolved, as it is hereby resolved by the Board of Justice of Gabalum Western College Incorporated, that the awards as they granted to the following. Senior High School Grade 12, Academic Excellence Award from Technical Vocational Track, Home Economics, Nova S. Andutan, from Accountancy Business Management, Christine C. Aspa. Jane Feb K. Lonasco. From General Academic Strand, Maya Ferrer. Von Jeric M. Guanco. Vina T. Poral. Giovanni S. Purissima. Resolve further that the foregoing award be given during the graduation day. Unanimously approved. I hereby certify to the correctness of the foregoing resolution. Signed, Dr. Margaret Jane C. Galilea, Secretary. Attested, Reverend Father Jesus C. Caballo, Chairman of the Board. The Presentation of Graduation Candidates Senior High School Candidates to be presented by Principal Ms. Irene Rose Pico. Mr. President, may I have the honor to present to you these student candidates for graduation in their respective tracks. Eight from the General Academic Strand, four from the Accountancy, Business and Management Strand, and seven from the Home Economics Strand. As per our records show, they have satisfactorily completed the academic requirements of their tracks. Senior High School General Academic Strand Mia Ferrer from Kubay Haro, Iloilo City Academic Excellence Awardee Patricia Ama Gallego from Lanipe, Nueva Valencia, Guimaras. Von Jeric Guanco from Bituon Haro, Iloilo City Academic Excellence Awardee. Roy Hinon from San Isidro, Haro, Iloilo City. Christian Paulo Menjola from Benedicto Haro, Iloilo City. Vina Porad from Takas Haro, Iloilo City, Academic Excellence Awardee. Giovanni Purissima from Kubay Haro, Iloilo City, Academic Excellence Awardee. John Lester Tundo from Pinagbuhatan, Pasig City. Senior High School Accountancy, Business and Management. Christine Aspa from Bita Duenas, Iloilo, Academic Excellence Awardee. Ariel Cabaluna from Agta Leon, Iloilo. Alicia Pearl Kelly Sibalios from Mabolo Delgado, Iloilo City. Jennifer Kiel Lunasco from Piapi 1, Hamtik, Antique. Academic Excellence Awardee Senior High School Home Economics Nova Andutan from Kataan San Joaquin Iloilo Academic Excellence Awardee Angelo Alfred Araño from Kubay Haro Iloilo City Giovanni Billiones from Manduriao, Iloilo City. Cristina Dimon from Buntatala, Haro, Iloilo City. Stellen Jen Ombrero from Buntatala, Haro, Iloilo City. Keith Jason Pardorla from Bulilao, Manduriao, Iloilo City. Prince Carl 
Ranolio from Dilarama Street, Iloilo City. By virtue of the authority vested upon me by the Board of Trustees, Kabalum Western College Incorporated, and by the Honorable Secretary of the Department of Education, I hereby confer to you to move on to college. Congratulations, dear graduates and completers of school year 2020-2021. You make us all look at the future with anticipation and pride. You have once again proven that true champions can thrive in the midst of the challenging realities of life. Your sheer grit and resilience have brought you this far in your lifelong pursuit of quality education. Your achievements call for a celebration. You have risen above the worst of times and have responded to the overwhelming demands of the new normal with Elan. Your education must not only be reflected in your report cards, but must be manifested in how you masterfully deal with life, an embodiment of courage, compassion, character, and competence. As you relish this moment, Remember to celebrate your success with our indefatigable advocates and champions of quality education. Teachers, parents, school administrators, education leaders, stakeholders, and friends, among others. Your success seals our triumph over trials. It propels our collective aspiration for a brighter future despite the limitations caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is just the beginning of a beautiful journey ahead. We firmly believe in your potential for success because in Deped Region 6, every child is a champion. As you cross this time of immense challenges and great opportunities, keep your passion for greatness alive. May your achievements inspire everyone to move forward with a renewed sense of hope, meaning, and purpose. Together, we shall rise as one. Ipadayon ta ang pagpalanggaanay. Once again, congratulations and mabuhay! The presentation of graduation candidates. College candidates to be presented by College Dean Dr. Rodrigo Leonor. Reverend Father Jesus C. Cabalong, President. May I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation academic year 2021. As per record show, they have satisfactorily completed the academic requirements for the respective courses. Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Major in Financial Management, Mark John T. Canto, from Bulalacao, New Lucena, Iloilo. Maisel Alipat Alido, from Hines, Alimudjan, Iloilo. Bernadine Maca Ortiga, from Pamulugan, Kabatuan, Iloilo. Shanice Acanto Lechuza from Mandoriao, Iloilo City. Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Major in Marketing Management. Lisel Gunay Balsong from Balantang, Haro, Iloilo City. Joshua Alimen from Osmeña Street, Arevalo, Iloilo City. Cherry Joy Gomera Evangelista from Park Regency, Pabia, Iloilo. Remeline Garupa from Barangay Balabag, Pabia, Iloilo. Remeline Lagunday Hagulino 
karang barangay Amparo Pabia Iloilo. Jayan Kalukab Sabio from Leon Iloilo. Romilin Bachoco Salvante from South Pondidor Molo Iloilo City. Janrey Haliorina Togle from Barangay Aganan Pavia Iloilo. Bachelor of Science in Hotel Restaurant Management. Dre Paulo Rosales, 70C Gostilo Street, La Paz, Iloilo City. Bachelor of Science in Office Administration. Bernadette Tamparon Buraay from Piña Buenavista, Guimaras. Jelin Estrella Legaspi from Dumarao, Capiz. Associate in Computer Office Administration. Kiven Balsote from Pandak, Pavia, Iloilo. Jovelin Bagsain Bulanon from Insayawan, Banate, Iloilo. Gretchen Cabuyao Penedes from Yugot, Mina, Iloilo. Enen Leisa Perez from Barangay Lupa, Santa Barbara, Iloilo. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Raylin J. Tomesa Romero from Nagba, Tigbawan, Iloilo. Computer Technician. Yumar Sano Andutan from Kataan, San Joaquin, Iloilo. Mary Queen Victoriano Beronio from Bariri, San Jose, Antique. By virtue of the authority vested upon me by the Board of Trustees, Kabalam Western College Incorporated, and by the Commission of the Higher Education, I hereby confer to you all college graduates. Today is the day to celebrate. Why? According to Bob Moat, the best day of your life is the only one which you decide your life is your own. No apology or excuses, no one to lean on or blame. It is an amazing journey. You alone are responsible for the quality of it. This is the day your life really begins. I hope your dreams take you to the corner of your smile, to the highest of your hopes, to the windows of your opportunities, and to the most special places your hearts, your avenue. Your future is bright for all the times of late night studies, lack of sleep, and sacrifice of enjoyment, your reward is here. Congratulations, their graduates. It is my pleasure to acknowledge the graduates of Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management Department. These graduates have triumphed in the areas of teamwork and management, and they have the tremendous potential for lifelong learning and leadership. Your dedication and effort have prepared you to develop skills that have a substantial effect on all aspects of human endeavor. You're off to a great start, and I'm confident that you'll succeed. 
I hope you will return to Kabalong Western College to inform us about your achievement from time to time. On behalf of the faculty and staff, we are really satisfied of what you have achieved thus far in the pandemic as well as what you will accomplish in the future. The last four years have been challenging, but today we are all here to rejoice our breakthroughs, accomplishments, conquests, and voyage we've all taken together. Congratulations, graduates! Shine it on, Kabalomians! Congratulations to the graduates, BOTS 2021. Today is the moment you've waited for after the long, hard struggle of your student's life. To our dear parents and guardians, my heartfelt gratitude for supporting these young people achieve their victory. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, you become more stronger and take the test of time courageously. Graduation is the end of your academic requirements in your baccalaureate course. And another door awaits you as you step out of the portals of your alma mater, Kabalong Western College. The knowledge you've learned, the experiences you shared with your colleagues, added your determination and perseverance will surely lead you to a brighter side of the professional world in the future. Be a productive person in your profession someday. And always remember that only positive-minded people reap the laurel of victory. Stand still and be proud to be a Kabalomian. Congratulations once again. Awards, Senior High School. Academic Excellence is awarded to Mia Ferrer. Von Jeric Guanco. Vina Poral. Giovanni Purissima. Christine Aspa Jennifer Kiel Lonasco Nova Andutan Let's hear a response from a graduate To Father Jesus Caballum, College President To the College Administrator Dean on Academics, Head of the Student Affairs, Department Heads, College Register, and to the Principal of the Senior High School, Faculty and Staff, Parents, Guests, and Graduating Students, good afternoon. Thank you for allowing me here to steal a few minutes of your time before we get to the important business of the day, graduation. Our graduation. That's right, everyone. We're graduating, can you believe it? Years of hard work and long days have finally paid off and today, I am happy to say that we are graduating. So I should begin by saying congratulations. Graduating from a prestigious school like Kabalum Washington College is a feat that few can undertake and successfully complete. So please take some time to truly relish in this moment today. I mean, just think of who we were and where we were in our lives when we began our courses and compare it to the who we are today to who we've become. What an amazing and earnest transformation we've all undergone. All of you are absolute rocksters and I am so very proud to know you. I am very happy to be speaking to you today, not only because I love the sound of my own voice, which of course I do. But because I get to see all of your wonderful faces shining with creativity and potential. 
I am so fortunate today because I get to see the people who will be responsible for changing our world. I'm just so overwhelming proud of what we have already accomplished and what we have yet to accomplish. Okay, so as I had mentioned, it is an immense honor to be speaking with you today. It's kind of an overload. It's also in many ways. I believe that fact that I am addressing you is an ironic. First, me addressing you alone is ironic because of one of the most profound things I've experienced throughout my time in the Kabbalah Washington College has been the intense emphasis on teamwork, on togetherness, and on shared experiences. What I really love about is that it forces you to go out on the limb and really trust in the process, but it does not make you do alone. We all have been uncomfortable or upset at times, but in those times, we have had each other to lean on and say, today has been a rough one, I just don't know what to do. What I'm gonna really miss was that what we did after exam, or gusto lang natin. We do street food sa tubang Robinson's, kus sa tubang hinitap. We ate balot, fishball, and etc. And the other thing is that we do dinner on the Sandburst Park, San Port San Pedro, and then we ate talaba and inasal. Then while eating, we talk about life, then cry like a baby. <laughs> One time to, gintapik natin si Ramelin. Hay tama ta na ka, hipuson? Humble natin sa iya. Dapat nang, you should be heard. Let your voice be heard to everyone. Don't stay where you are and don't stay what you are. Amo na siyang ginhambal naman sa iya. You know what? Nang Ramelin and other working students inspires me so much. Hamakin mo na, they have to work for them to pay for their tuition and expenses as in school. The other things inspires me so much was yung may mga bata na, but then they continue on their schooling. Sabi nga nila, education has no age. As long as you have dream and you are striving, I salute all of you. In the trenches of business management, there exists one of the most pure forms of camaraderie and I have ever known or experienced. So with that being said, I feel like it was a little ironic that I am alone up here where in true business management fashion, we should be all up here in a big circle with a box of Glenix doing this together. Secondly, I believe that me, a white handsome male, addressing such a diverse and also predominantly female class is ironic. I must confess that in most of my classes as a male, I was in the minority. We're only four, which was a very unique and a new experience for me. However, this is an experience that is absolutely vital to the core of the business management. This course truly emphasizes the importance of equality and acceptance of all people and experiences. Now, I know that the world is not perfect or equal, but I do not believe that the course has never lied and said that it was. This course was truly thought me taught us to recognize injustice and inequality in our reality and to develop novel ways to combat those evils through creativity, dedication, and tolerance. Now, I do not take lightly the immense responsibility of representing such an amazing and diverse class, but I do hope that I can do justice to my peers by. On some level, Attempting to show that people like myself can serve as allies and as advocates against inequality. Now, if it is shall right, I would like to steal a brief story from the ephemeral actor Christopher Walken. However, for all the movie buffs in the audience, I'm going to change it up a little bit to make it a little more appropriate to the CWC Reom. I'm also not going to burden you with my horrible Christopher Walken impersonation. 
I think that is for another time. <laughs> so here we go. So three mice were walking through a barn, enjoying the day and talking about whatever mice talks about. It's at the point that one of the mice makes a misstep and falls into a large bucket of cream. This left two mice at the edge of the bucket, completely terrified for their friend below. Well, the mouse in the cream was scared and didn't know what to do. His entire world was turned upside down and he was in a panic. He kicked frantically but to no avail. He began to sink. It is at this point that one of the mice on the edge threw up his arms and said, I'm out of here. This is too much. I can't watch and run away. However, the other mouse stayed and began to speak to her friend. Take deep breaths, she said. Move your arms and legs in unison. Don't worry. I am here for you. We are in this together. It is at this point that the mouse in the cream calmed down. He began moving his body in powerful and orchestrated strokes. And in no time, he turned that cream into butter and walked out of the bucket. Now I tell this story because the mouse on the outside of the bucket essentially acted as a kabalumian. Rather than ran away from the situation, the mouse leaned in and was there with the other mouse when no one else was. She shared his experience in that moment. She provided support when no one else would. She helped him to help himself. As a Kabalumian, we often interact with people who are not in best or most stable place. Oftentimes, our clients are flawed people in a crisis when they come to us, but we accept that. We see imperfection in our clients, in our society, in our ourselves. And rather than run away, we choose to lean in and do something about it. We recognize that a mistake is only an opportunity for a comeback. It's what we do. To quote author R.J. Boghan, the secret of happiness is in knowing this, that we live by the law of expenditure, we find greatest joys, not in getting, but in expressing what we are. There are tides in the ocean of life, and what comes in depends on what goes out. The currents flow inward only where there is an outlet. Nature does not give to those who will not spend. Her gifts are loaned to those who will use them. Empty your lungs and breathe. Run, climb, work, and love. The more you give out, the more you shall receive. Be exhausted, and you shall be fed. People do not really live for honors or for pay. Their gladness is not in the talking and holding, but in the doing, the striving, the building, the living. It is a higher joy to reach than to be taught. It is a good to get justice, but better to do it. It is fine to have things, but more to make them. The happy person is he or she who lives that life of love. Not for the honors it may bring, but for the life itself. Now, after today, many of us will enter the workforce and we will be employed in a variety of fields and possessions. And that what's truly amazing about our courses. With our degree, you can pursue any endeavor you wish in whatever capacity you desire. Some of us will work as bankers or business managers, while some of us will be hotel managers, professors, or consultants. Regardless of whatever position you occupy, Please know that you will always be a Kabalunian at the heart. In every action that you undertake, in every dilemma you face, you will know what to do because you have a professional philosophy that bolsters your decision and define your choices. 
As a Kabalumian, you will always believe in a person's innate capacity for change. You will always be one that seeks to solve problems rather than run away. As a Kabalumian, you will always be the mouse on the edge of that bucket. Before I end my speech, I would like to thank the following persons. Tito Jocks, for supporting me financially and of course for trusting on my ability. To Mama, giving me unwavering guidance when I'm stressed and down. To my Papa in heaven. Pa, graduate na gid ang wapong mga bata. Your eldest then is already graduate. But I know na even wala ka di sa tupad ko, you are guiding me and I know that proud ka sa akin. And to my siblings, Alan Joy, Jericho, Maulin, for inspiring me to reach my dreams. To Inday Silya and Toto, thank you for letting me to stay in your house and always guiding me kung ano ang sakto. To my aunts, uncles, cousins, and other relatives, thank you for always praising me and being an apple of the eye in the family. Thanks for that. To my friends for giving me advices on my academics, Gerald, my best friend slash makeup artist, for being always there when I need a friend to talk with and making me always presentable when there is an event that I am attending. To my big moms, first ng Cherry, my first attend school, for always believing on me and electing me as president always. Thank you. Man sa pagsaway sa akin kung hindi na nami ang ginapang obra ko. Nang Lizelle for praising me always. Pero may mugid ginahambal sa akin nga perfect gid ko. Gwapo, alam, buot, kag damo damo pa. Mapapasan na all na lang ko. Nang tip, thanks sa donuts always haha. But then, thank you for being always there kag sa pagpraise sa akin. Kung sa ahambal mo sa akin, Mark. Hula talang bala nga ako ma-praise ka nimo. Hindi nga ma-self-proclaim ka lang da. Nang Rams, ang alwan ko nga friend. Kung may lechon gani, ara gid, gadala sa school. Mabusog gid kami kung ara imo present sa ha. Nang Ramalin, nga hiposol, kagpermi lang naman ginasunlog. Nang, move forward. Make your dreams come true. To John, Joshua, and Jayan, permi nyo lang ginahambal nga Meg, ikaw ito bala. Siyempre, ako ang gwapo sa atin apat, no choice ko eh. <laughs> Nang Karen, thank you for always at my back, and ako gid ang salig mo sa akin. I am so very grateful to all of you nga nakilala tagid ka mo. You will be always, all of you will be at my heart forever. To my financial family, Berna, Maisel, and Shanice for making me always alert. Kamo na ga alarm clock ka na kon. Kaga remind ka mga school requirements. Ang linyahan nga Marky, kamusta na? Tapos mo na? Gahambal lang ko for me. Yes, I'm doing it. But, sad to say, hindi pa nang pisahan. For my business management department student, thank you for trusting and electing me as your president for two consecutive years. It means a lot to me, as well as the senior class for electing me as your president. Thank you. Continue our legacy. Continue to be the overall champion. To Sir Vilia, thank you for sa imo pagsalig sa akon. I may the BSBA department overall champion because anga uh, we have misunderstandings, but you truly love me, so you have no choice. To Sir Nick, to Sir Moasa, and to Sir Ayan, my instructors, thank you for believing and praising me on my ability and, of course, for your trust. To the registrar, Ma'am Ness, pasensya gid sa mga sinabad ko permis sa imo office. Thank you, Ma'am, for always helping me on my subjects. And thank you, Gid, sa inyo tanan kay wala ka muna takaan sa ako. To my other instructors, to my professors, thank you so much for imparting and being part of our success, for the knowledge that you've given to us. Wala ni namun na abot kung wala kamo. To my special someone, thank you for giving me strength and supporting me. Every time nga hindi ko kaya, permi mo ginhambal, 
Kaya mo na, Marky. Ikaw pa. Ari lang ko to support and love you. To my alma mater, thank you. Thank you so much for carving us and making us of who we are right now. Above all, I would like to thank the Almighty God for giving this opportunity and all those persons na mention ko na ging part sang akong journey on reaching my dreams. Now, after today, it's showtime. But don't let that scare you, okay? Go out there and live life. Take care of others and take care of yourselves. And no matter what you do, know what we can all be proud. Not just because we always be long terms, but because we will always be a kabalumyan. Graduates, let's say in unison, I am a kabalumyan in one, two, three. I am a kabalumyan. Now, I think it's time for some much needed self-care. Congratulations, everyone. This is Mark Jan T. Kanto, your senior class president, and thank you so much. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly pledge my love and my loyalty to my alma mater, the Kabalong Western College. This I do out full of gratitude to those who founded the school, to the administration of the school, and to the members of the faculty for their concentrated devotion and willing hands in letting me understand my Christian duties towards God, country, parents, and in providing me with the necessary knowledge and skills to work in my chosen field of endeavor. Furthermore, I hereby resolve to concentrate my love, my noblest thoughts, and my utmost endeavor to the freedom, the strength, the prosperity and happiness of my country, parents, and alma mater. So help me God. Graduate, please raise your right hand and follow after me. I state your name, the solemn pledge that as a member of Kabalong Western College Alumni Association, I shall strive hard to live up to the standard of excellence of my alma mater to elevate the mind and strengthen character and to be always on the side of the law, freedom, and justice for the service of God, country, and mankind. So help us God. that stage with the cameras flashing they've been waiting on our day it's been a journey hasn't it i wouldn't trade a moment no i wouldn't change a moment i'm who
for just a year or two And I'm grateful Our moment. Let us enjoy this sweet moment, the culmination of our years of toil and hard work in college. Let us soak ourselves in the glory of success, the success of having surpassed the challenges which we thought we could never win over. With that, however, we have reached the end of a phase in our lives. Another phase is set to open, but with uncertainty. Nevertheless, nothing will dampen the fire in our hearts and spirits. We will continue to live and seize the day, however difficult it may be. Shine on, Kabalumians! Shine, Batch 2021!